What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to a new episode of Secluded. This is episode eight. We are starting off the episode with a little bit of a grind, just knocking out this agility, uh, climbing over this wall. It's a, it's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to uh, fail 50 million times, but it's really not that bad. So we need to uh, get 10 so we can go to Drainer Village and then uh, we'll proceed to get 25. Knock out the Ghost Ahoy quest. We'll be able to teleport to Mauritania, which will be a, a very useful uh, for a lot of things. Herb runs when we're doing the other quests in the area. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to be knocking out next. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the series, please drop that sub. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video. If you did not start on episode one and this is your first episode, you can definitely go back. The link is down in the description below for the playlist. And uh, yeah, what, one big thing that we really, really, really need to work towards in this episode is uh, Mage Training Arena because we, we need to unlock every single item from Mage Training Arena. However, Mage Training Arena, it costs a lot of money. So we're going to need to make some money this episode. And agility. Let's go ahead and uh, head over to that drainer course. All right, 25 agility knocked out. We can now do uh, Ghost Ahoy. So let's go, let's go knock that out. And that is Ghost Ahoy completed. Nice. A lot of people underestimate this quest in the very beginning, but honestly, having a teleport to Mauritania is such a time saver. It's crazy. So if you're if you're putting off the Ghost Ahoy quest for any reason, don't because the ectophile is so useful. Lost tribe done. Death to the Dorgashun completed. And we now have a pretty decent training method for range. We can now use the uh, the Dorgasun crossbow with the uh, bone bolts. So the bone crossbow and the bone bolts will be able to get some uh, some nice range training in. Well, uh, I do want to knock out Lost City as soon as possible because that's going to give us our best in slot weapon for a while. The Dragon Longsword and the Dragon Dagger. So uh, to do that, we need 31 crafting. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to run back and forth. And the reason I'm doing it here is because there's a furnace in the middle. So I'm going to buy the items, run to the furnace, turn them into molten glass, put them in the bank, run back, repeat. And then at the end, once I have enough for 31 crafting, I'll, uh, I'll blow everything up. 31 crafting i decided to stay until 34 crafting so that i can cut my rubies because i have a whole bunch of rubies in the bank that need to be cut and they're going to be useful later on for when we want to make ruby bolts as well as strength amulets uh dig site teleports so I, i'm just staying until 34 get these rubies knocked out and uh, start working our crafting uh up kind of passively that way we're not you know just training crafting and then we'll eventually be able to do diamond, make diamond bolts, and, and we'll be on our way. We'll uh, we'll be getting that infernal cape in no time. Oh, that's such a nice XP drop. Look at that. Just finished off the rest of the rubies. We now have 202, which is pretty nice. That's a that's quite a good stack so far. I'm really happy with that. Lost City done. We now have access to Xanaris, the Xanaris Slayer Master. Uh, we can now wield the Dragon Longsword, the Dragon Dagger. We go to Puro Puro if we wanted to. I don't plan on training Hunter for a while, but uh, yeah, we have we have some new content. Quick little 60 defense coming in. We can now wear this uh, this beautiful dragon med helm, and we can look like the noob that we are. That is Demon Slayer done. All right, that is Dragon Slayer done. Ooh, look at that XP. Look at that. Can I buy a room plate body? Yes, please. I need one of you and one of you. Cash stack is gone. And we can now wear both of these. That is fantastic. Thank Jesus. 35 rune crafting coming in. That's uh, so that we could do the what lies below quest. We need 35 rune crafting to get into the chaos altar. And uh, I was just basically teleporting back and forth between the dual arena and the Ferox Enclave and then using the little pool at the Ferox Enclave to, to regen my run and uh, just go back and forth. 42 mining coming in. That is another requirement for the quest. I need a chaos talisman so I can get into the chaos altar. Luckily, with the new update of uh, for the free to play people to get the Baronite mace and all the all the resources down here, 
Uh, there's also these golems that you can kill, the chaos golems, and they drop the chaos talisman. So hopefully we won't be here for very long. Uh, I don't see it taking very long, but yeah, hopefully it, uh, this would be ridiculous to go dry on. Chaos talisman is achieved. And that is what, uh, what, uh, what, what lies. That's all folks. Gertrude's cat done. Say hello to Ronaldo. Soulsbane done. This brings back a lot of memories. You hit so hard in this quest. It's such a weird quest. Like it's so weird, so random. Portion of int. I think it's portion. I, I don't know how to say it. Por porcelain, porcelain of interest done. That's done. I'd like to somewhat start training Slayer, but I want to make sure that we get a good Slayer task. So um, I'm hoping we can get like Fire Giants or something like that uh, before I sign up. Okay, yeah, I'm hoping we can get like Fire Giants, something like that, because those are easy. You shoot them through the, through the, oh, Greater Demons. No, oh, we're starting the task. I hope I hope I don't die. Wish me luck. 18 slayer coming in i'm actually going to leave here this is ass to be completely honest using the bone bolts here and uh, i ran into one pk -er, but he didn't even attack me i guess i looked too shit to to be attacked but uh with that being said we needed that 18 slayer so that we could do animal magnetism get the uh the little backpack and uh and start collecting these arrows so that we're not we're not wasting them but i do have a a, a method of getting a rune crossbow in the future and I think you guys are going to like it, but that's not going to come for quite a while. Animal magnetism done. We now have access to the Ava's backpack thing that picks up the arrows for us with the undead chickens that make zero sense. But uh, yeah, this is a good thing to get out of the way. And again, if you're putting this off and you're not using the, the, the backpack of, of arrows, then you're screwing up because this thing saves your life and money. So uh, definitely good to have out of the way and now we need to start making money. So let's let's do that I've been trading agility while just alking things that were in the bank and we've come out to 430k from just alkables in the bank, which is pretty awesome. I'm happy with that That's a good amount of starter money just to again to get us started with making more money for the mage training arena uh, Again, we need quite a bit the bank is looking really nice So we have about a six mil net worth, but we only have one mil usable cash So that's why we need more cash and uh, we're gonna go to the first money-making method right now and start right away. For our first money-making method, we are gonna be going to Forgotten Souls. Forgotten Souls are a really good money-maker, especially for us at the moment since we're limited on what we can do. I don't wanna go to Rev Caves just yet because uh, we're kind of, you know, a lower level and I'm, I'm really not gonna have a good time there. Probably not gonna get very many drops, so this it just makes sense to do it this way. And we need to train anyway, and I don't want to have to be worried about PKers because, again, we could easily go to Rev Caves if we had higher stats. We could get, you know, like a an ancient something totem, whatever it is, and make like three mil real quick. But again, I, I don't, I, I just can't at the moment. So we're gonna be doing this. This is a great place to train and make money at the same time. Fifty range coming in. To get out of this area, we need to complete the mage training arena. To complete the mage training arena, we do have to receive full infinity as well as the master wand, which means we'll have to upgrade from the beginner, apprentice, and teacher wand to get to our master wand. We'll also need to get the mages book and the bones to peaches spell. Once all of those are completed, we will be able to move on to the next area, which will be amazing. Now, uh, just to go over how many runes we need, uh, which is which is quite a bit, uh, we need 4,724 law runes, 11,460 nature runes, and 11,138 cosmic. Um, let, let's just say it's going to cost quite a bit. So... Uh, we're, we're gonna need I, i'm not too sure exactly how much it's gonna cost and it, the reason i don't know exactly how much it's gonna cost is because it it could be more runes than this it could be less runes than this it just it depends so i'm gonna make as much money as i possibly can to buy this amount of runes um and then maybe have some money left over and then we'll we'll go from there and see how close we are to receiving everything and if we can receive everything with the amount of runes that, that i've laid out for you then that would be amazing if we can't we'll just make a little bit more money if we need to and we'll buy some more if not uh we'll just buy more and knock the rest of it out but those are the amounts of runes that we need that is the goal and we are going to complete it 
and 61 range coming in so that is for the rune crossbow that's where i'm actually going to stop at the moment because that's the the highest range level we need at the moment um i i will definitely train this a bit more before we go for the fire cape but again all i needed was access to the rune crossbow at this point we're moving on to melee now and that is 60 attack out of the way i do need to get a dragon longsword but i do need an item before we can do that we need to cut diamond so that we can get into the Xanarus store area so that we can purchase uh, a dragon longsword as well as the, the dragon dagger. Now, with that being said, the only way to get that is, well, not the only way, but the easiest way for me probably is probably the ham storeroom uh, since you can get it from the chest. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now to get that diamond out of the way. nice we got the diamond that didn't take very long i think that was just two trips so not not too bad and we of course made a little bit of cash with it too which is great i don't think i have ever ever accessed this area in my entire runescape career i've never been here before but that is the uh the dragon longsword this is going to be our best in slot for quite a while here's something unexpected 70 strength 70 attack and 70 defense we finished those couple of grinds and that's great, but the bank's only at about a four mil usable cash stack. So we do need to make a little bit more money. I think it's time to go to the rev caves. Uh, that's the only real, real thing I can think of. I don't really want to stay at forgotten souls just so I can switch up the content a little bit. So we're going to try rev caves. I'm going to try using range first, but I believe melee is going to be my best. But again, I, I really don't know what to expect. I've, I've never really gone to the rev caves all that often I, I did a long time ago before the rework but i i don't even know what it looks like so let's go check it out let's see if we can make some cash we just completed our first trip range is definitely not the way to go so i'm gonna switch to the dragon longsword uh we had to pay 100k uh to to access the cave which kind of sucks but at the same time it's it's really not too bad uh, I guess it could be worse. So 100k, and that's just so if anyone PKs me, they get 100k, so that I'm not in there one iteming and you know, because I'm in the wilderness. You know, if if someone has the opportunity to kill me and they kill me, I'm gonna be pissed. But they they have the opportunity to do it. I'm in the wilderness. It's a dangerous area, so I can't complain about it. Nice. Okay, we got the rune full helm drop, and with the rune items, I believe all of them they drop in doubles. So. Double rune full helm, we'll get double plates, double legs, uh, everything like that. So th this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm literally going to bank every single time I get a drop because uh, especially with having that one uh, 100k in there, I, I really can't afford to lose anything because uh, that could be a major setback if we just keep dying over and over without drops. I don't even have the bracelet of Ethereum yet, which is kind of screwing me up because... Uh, I get hit so I can't kill the the higher level pyre fiends I can only kill the goblins at the moment or the imps and uh, Yeah, so once we get the bracelet of ethereum, it's, it's game on Yes, oh <laughs> Yo, this this actually took a really long time. I'm kind of surprised It was like two trips in between three trips. I, I'm just I'm surprised because I've been I've been doing the world hop method, kind, sorta, kinda, where you hop worlds, and so that way you maximize your kills, and it's just, it's taken quite a while, so just figured I'd have it by now, but that is nice to have out of the way. Holy shit. I need to get out of here right now. Normally, I really wouldn't, you know, it would be a great ALK or a great sell to the to the Grand Exchange, but we needed this for best in slot legs. Uh, this is this is amazing. I'm so glad that we got these. By the way, I did uh, loot actually on the way out of the cave, and we got some armor upgrades. We got the black dehyde chaps and a couple snakeskin things. If you didn't remember or you didn't know, I am allowed to loot when I'm in the wilderness, but only when I'm in the wilderness so the, this is a, allowable I am able to do this and we got an upgrade out of it which is amazing I never thought I was going to be able to to loot absolutely anything because the wilderness is so dead it's so dead it's crazy I died 